Hey guys, so today is another Dollar Tree haul. I'm hoping the lighting is good today and not too bad off. We've had a snow or an ice storm the last couple days and we're about to get another one. So bear with me on this. So in the Crafter Square, I found these laser cut items. Now I don't think these are new. However, I picked them up to journal with. I really like these flowers for like Valentine's, springtime, and you can paint them or just put them on like a little charm if you wanted to. I came across these. The clocks, I just really like them. For some reason, these clocks give me that steampunk vibe. So I just really liked it. I thought they were cool. And then the keys, I think those are adorable. One fell. So you get six pieces of each. So they're different ones in each little square. And again, you can paint them. You can put them on a string to make them a charm to add to like if you're doing junk journaling, scrapbooking, or just crafting. They'd be cute on there, especially for Valentine's. If you want to do like a key and a heart tied together that would be cute i got some more fastener dots i just needed some more and then i picked up these straws for valentine's i'm just gonna throw them on my tear tray and then i picked up these um popcorn bags i started using them in my junk journal just kind of like a little accessory but you know they can be good for actually using them for popcorn you can make cute little valentine's like movie night bags with them and put them as like your basket like a little movie with it that'd be cute all right then i picked up this pink and silver ribbon i just thought it was pretty and so these aren't new but i really wanted to pick them up because i love the colors of strawberry and the peach thought that was pretty and then the little swirls so you can add them again planner junk journal if you bullet journal these are going to be cute as well or if you just like to keep notes which i'm about to make a bulletin board so i wanted it for that and to journal with so i found these cutting dies and this is a corner piece so you can see on the back like what it does so you um can use it as like the corners on a picture now if you don't have the machine I'm not sure if they work for sure or not because I've seen someone that put a hack about it that I want to that I want to try but if not I'm just gonna paint it and put it use it like that as an embellishment because um, I don't have one of those machines I just have a Cricut so it's they're two different things and then I picked up the flower ones for springtime Valentine's but I just thought they were neat. I couldn't believe Dollar Tree had these. And then I picked up these clear stamps for Valentine's journaling. And I didn't realize I'd already had this exact same one. But what I like is that I can also like use them as an embellishment for one pack and then keep the others. That's an option. And then I actually got two of these stickers. And I absolutely loved the clock in this. Like, it's just so pretty, and it kind of gives me a little bit of that steampunk plus a Victorian vintage look. And that's what I'm going for in, like, any of my journaling or any of my crafting right now. I don't know. I'm just in that era of Victorian right now. I'm just in the era of pink, cutesy. That's all there is, really. Um, like this. This is so cute to me. I actually have two more of these exact same ones but I loved it so much because of the way that it feels and they're so pretty and I didn't want to use them all so I picked up another because I love it and then I just thought these were adorable these are actually jot those were some were craft or square this was valentine's but this is a jot one but um yeah it's just cute look at the little pig and then the sweets, I love the little sweet theme to it. And that's kind of just why I got it. And then you have the alphabet. Yeah. And then another sweet theme is the cupcakes. I'm just going to kind of add little touches of that here and there. So then I also picked up these um, 
self-adhesive stencils. I love that you can add the borders around with like your ink and I have a bunch of inks that I want to add uh, use it with but I've also seen where people use like a medium um, I don't know exactly what it is but they'll put it on there and build it up and then it's like a 3d type so I want to try that with something else that I have because I don't want to go buy the other stuff so we'll see how that works out they have the little bitty vinyls like packets I will say that I don't always like I don't really like the Dollar Tree vinyl however to cut out let me rephrase that to cut out with my Cricut however I got this one because I want to use it as a full sheet and it'll work better that way than it would cutting out. Um, I know a lot of people though that do use like the washi setting with it when it comes to the Cricut and their Dollar Tree vinyl, but I just, I didn't have luck with it. But I like that it was the floral print and that's what I wanted it for that floral. I just thought that was pretty and yeah there's quite a bit in there it's not bad so you can make any kind of home decor with this put this on a sign like add this to the bottom half of a front door hanger you can put this at the bottom half paint the other put it in the middle you could use it on a cup different options like that and I picked up this monthly planner because you can use like uh, dry erase markers on it and I'm just gonna put it on my bulletin board so I'll have it and kind of keep track of everything I need to do I like to write things down but then I also need something to be able to see visually on the wall it's a lot then I picked up these stickers I just really like the gems in there and again with those keys and there's that pink heart I just thought these would be a cute embellishment as well. Um, I needed some more of the scoring tool set. Like the other one's kind of been used a lot and it's kind of wore down. So I wanted some that I could use for my journaling instead. That's all. And I picked up this hardware storage case. And this is actually in the tool bench section. But I got it because the other one I was using for my washi tape from Dollar Tree it had too many like rounded grooves and it just wasn't enough space so I got two of these um, I already have it filled up so I'll throw up a picture of it so that way you can see what it looks like and how much it holds but that's what I got it for and then you can also just put like any of your little um, beads in there stickers embellishments anything like that that's what these are great for okay speaking of embellishments we'll stay on that subject this these are the items that I'm talking about that are going to be great to put in there and also are brand new and they are so adorable. So Jot came out with these gold paper clips, but look how cute they are. This one has the little stars added in it. Then you have the ones with the heart right there. So the same as that. And then you have just this solid heart shape. Isn't that cute? So these would be great to keep in there. And then they also came out with these spring clips. And they had this size and they had a smaller size. But I got these to hold open like um, my books and my journals. So that way the pages aren't just constantly flipping when I'm trying to decorate it. Jot also came out with these. And these have been out for a little bit. But I love the spring colors. But what is new, because you can tell by the label that it's new. Um, so the blue label is their old label, but the brown label is their newest one. But look at the rubber bands. They match. They're the same color, so they're those spring colors. It's got the pink, purple, teal, and a gray. And I love those colors together. Absolutely love them. This is actually kind of the theme type that I want to do for our wedding. Even though it's not going to be a springtime wedding probably, these I want the springtime colors. God also came out with new push pins. Look at these pearls. Aren't those adorable? And these again are going to be great to store in there until you need them. And you can even decorate that um that little case you can put some vinyl on the top 
you could put paper on the top so it like you just tape it in there so it's decorated you could paint it if you wanted to just put your own little touch to it and then they also came out with these colored ones aren't those cute the pinks and the purple and that teal and green you could even change out your um push fans or bulletin board if you have a bulletin board to keep your notes you can change it out with the seasons now how cute these are going to be so great to use i love that jot has stepped up and done all of this fun new stuff then i picked up in crafter square glue and residue eraser i've seen other people use it and it just when you get too much glue somewhere you just take it off or you can put it i think you can take it off your hands too i don't know i've never used it but i wanted to try it out i also picked up these star jewel and gems so just cute little extra embellishments. Stars are my favorite shape. I picked up these cute little pink cups that were in like the party section. I just needed them to craft with. They would also be great if you were doing like a little Valentine's party. You could always put little treats in there for each kid, little popcorn bowls, or if um, you know your kid wants to make a Valentine's gift for kids at school. I know there's rules and regulations, so I don't know exactly what you're able to do, but you could always use these, fill up, um, make like a popcorn bowl or something, put it in there, or put a little bag of candy in there, anything like that. You can still use this stuff because they're pink and they have like purple, teal, all kinds of different options for you. Also in Jot, I missed this. Look at these index cards. And they're a 50 count and I absolutely love leopard. Love leopard and it's pink. But I like that they're on a little clip. And I used to use these all the time in college to put all my notes in there for school. But you could even clip these onto your keys and like to keep like a running shopping list that you need to grab for groceries or anything like that. Or any errands you need to run. If you misplace things like I do all the time, I write stuff down but then I misplace it. Put these on your keys. Then I picked up this double-sided magnet, so it says super clean and very dirty. Got it for the dishwasher, so we know, because we always ask, we'll do the dishes and then we'll forget if it's clean or dirty, so I got that. I picked up this journaling ink pen. It's a micro-tip brush pen, but it's a pink ink, so I'm hoping it's good. It says no bleed, quick dry, I don't know. I got it for journaling. Hopefully it'll be good. I grabbed this um, glue gun pad. This has been out for a little bit and I have silicone mats, but I needed another one to just put my glue gun on when I'm not able to put it back on the stand fast enough. And I've heard a lot of good things about this one. So I wanted to try it out. I finally found it and it's pink, of course. Also in Copter Square, they had these new um, insert card sets. And I absolutely loved that color. These would be cute to craft with if you didn't want to buy a lot of extra items or if you just need to put out some thank you cards. So that's what they use these cutting dies for. You can use like if you have the machine, you grab um, this and you put them together and you run it through the machine and it cuts it out and it'll be this color. So that's the whole point behind it. But um, this is just more of like to make cards out of like that. And yeah, so it has the gold, and it has the red, and the red's like a bumpy texture. Same with this one. And then it has the pink, and these are all the same texture. And then it actually comes with like the envelopes. I just thought that was really neat for them to start putting out those kind of items. Y'all, I came across these flip-flop accessories. But they're hearts. And I seen watermelon and lemons, I think. But I just thought these were adorable and you can use them as embellishment instead. Like, you don't have to put these on your flip flops, but look at the back of them. So this is how they are. So I guess they slip, I don't know. I guess they slip on somehow, I, I really don't know. But look how cute this would be just as an embellishment. I love that. Another item I got for an embellishment that's not is these hair clips because look at these adorable little heart and it's like a leather like a faux leather and then the little pom-pom but they're just little clips 
I thought that would be cute to add on. I picked up two cards and one is just these adorable cupcakes and then this macaroon. This is absolutely adorable. The glitter on it is perfectly laid out. I've never seen a prettier card in my life. I also came across this new fabric and what I loved about it is that it's all those same exact colors of the pinks, the blues, purples, and greens, but it's hearts. Look at it. I thought that was adorable and I wanted to use it for my junk journal as well. I also found this adorable gift wrapping. And again, you can use this for journaling and for crafting. What I loved about it is that it's leopard print and hearts. Look at that. So it's, it's the leopard with the little hearts. Like, how cute. That's perfect for Valentine's. So if you're gonna do a Valentine's gift, you should grab that. So I also grabbed all these cards to journal with. So I got Minnie and the princesses and I like the size of them because you don't have to use just the picture to craft with. You can also cover them up so it makes like your paper sturdier and that's what I use it for too. I've noticed a lot of them, they all have the same backing but the numbers are all different colors. Now the, um, the jacks, queens, and kings are gonna be the ones that, and aces are gonna be the ones that actually have like pictures on them. These are actually all the same when it comes to this except for the jokers. Well, both jokers are the same. So that's the joker. So you have them both just like the other side. But then like this, the jack. The queen is Daisy, and then the little cat, and then Minnie. So it just goes on repeat like that. So with the princesses, this is the back, and that is so pretty. You have pinks and purples, actual cards. You have the, the frog, Tiana, um, Ariel, Pocahontas, Tangled, and, and Tiana. I also found the Barbie number one. So this, it looks like there's actually cute little pictures on the back to add, like that you can add. Let me see. Yeah, so like a few of these have like the Barbies on there and they're different on each side. So like it's, okay, so three, but I think it's because it has three girls on this side, but these are what I also like too. It's like basketball, but then you still have that and the numbers. But I like that you can add in these extra little, ooh, like that, it's cute. You can have cupcakes to use into your journal, things like that. And then I picked up the Lilo and Stitch subtraction cards. My niece's best friend probably does not need the cards, but they were Lilo and Stitch, so I grabbed them. Same with the Hello Kitty. I grabbed one for my niece and then I grabbed the other two for me to actually craft with and these are the matching ones. I finally found them. I mentioned a few haul backs that I could not find the matching one and I found it at one store because I was searching for these. And matching is something my niece would play and it's Hello Kitty so she's gonna love it. So it's this on the back but this is why I wanted it because of the pictures like how cute I'm just so thrilled that I finally found them and yeah look these are gonna be cute just to add in to your journal as an embellishment and just like a little background so you can add the so you'll have the extra colors I just thought they were really pretty really cute I love them. My last two items are a did we go back into the 90s era. What? I grew up on this. We're going backwards. But I kind of like it. 
Lisa Frank, guys. Lisa Frank at Dollar Tree. What? Like, oh my gosh. This is like every girl my age grew up with this. How cute. Oh my gosh. I forgot how adorable these stickers are actually were. I didn't even look at them. I just grabbed and went because it's Lisa Frank. Look at this. It's a cute little novelty pin, but I love the color and I love that little smiley, but it's the ones that you use that you push for each color. And I had that growing up as well. Like what? How cute. All right, guys, so that's my haul today. Let me know what you're putting down on your shopping list. I know it was a lot of items, but it was a lot of good items. Or let me know if you're not going to go shopping. Let me know what your favorite item was. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.